Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today, right now, I am just sprucing things up a little bit. Um, so this is just, yeah, ignore that. But anyway, so today, it's actually very interesting. So last night, I was feeling very creative before I went to work. And so I decided to work on my jacket and I had a whole bunch of patches and pins. So we're gonna actually iron on the patches to my jacket today. So right now, my jean jacket has been on the floor since last night, so I have, well, there's Supernatural, there's Galaxies, because I love Sars, Galaxies, anything to do with Galaxies. Um, so I have Totoro, if you don't know um, who Totoro is, so it's from um, Studio Ghibli, it's an anime, and I highly suggest watching the movies. Then I have, a, this actually, this patch actually, this is probably the oldest patch I have. Um, I got this years ago when we went to California from a flag shop. And this one I just got recently in other stores. I need space. I just loved it. So, um, this one I got from one of my close friends um, for our friend group. So, Girl Gain, all of us have it. Girl Gain, yeah. Then I have Zelda, of course. This is Harry Potter. And then I have a bunch of different, a couple of other patches, pins. And then I have actually pins on my backpack. So, yeah, sorry for the shaky video. But. Yeah, that's my jacket, so. Okay, right now we had to transfer my jacket from the floor onto a ironing pad. Isn't that what you call it? Ironing uh, board. Ironing board, okay. Oh, it's still messy. That's not an ironing board. <laughs> so, um, some of them stayed on nice. Uh, some of them I had to move a little bit, but this pin is gonna have to come off, and then we have a couple other pin patches with it. So let's see how this goes. So this is a safety precaution. So if you have pins, um, be sure not to. So even so, the surface of a iron is pretty big. So I had a pin stationed right here. So I had to take it off because if I have to iron on my girl game patch, then I don't want that to get damaged. Also, safety precaution. If you're a little kid, please ask the help of your parents. Um, I have not done pins and patches on, like I haven't ironed on patches, so my mom's just gonna help show me and then I'll do it. But please be careful, because this is a very hot surface. When I was a little kid, I messed around with an iron and I stuck my whole hand on there, so that hurt. So if you're going to use patches on a jacket, please be very careful. Seconds. Okay. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. It said Yeah, because I, I was having one, I had, I was having this one on the seam, but I moved it. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. one second, I'm just, can you, I was like, I was going to see how it was. Try to get away from the seam. That one's going to be slightly on the seam, but right. still. Okay, yeah. again, lay it down, Touch your iron. Okay, so 
Usually for patches it takes 15 to 20 seconds of pressure with the iron, but unfortunately a lot of these patches weren't working as well. So some of these we went over like at least three or four times. Some of them with the towel placed on top, but especially this one because it had the seams, we had to go over it with just the iron because it would not work with the cloth. And I just finished, um, we just finished placing the Zelda. And then this one is the oldest one, so this one was a little bit troublesome. But yeah, it turned out pretty well. And then patches for the back, I'm not gonna do today. And. Okay, so we have some birds tripping in the background, but the jacket, it went over pretty well. A couple of the patches were really hard to put on, so if you do get patches for your jacket, it's going to be different times for each person, so usually you put a towel on top or underneath both ways, and depending on like what surface you're um, ironing on patches. Some people just sew patches on. I chose to iron it on because I can't sew. I might ask um, a friend or two for some help with the sewing because some of the patches don't look like they want to stay on correctly. Uh, but it's, it's especially, it's just the, um, the UK patch is the one I'm worried about. I've had it for a very long time, a couple years. Um, so that one's the only one that's troublesome. Most of them took about 15, 20 seconds and we had to go over most of them three times. Uh, the only one that we didn't have to go over was the Supernatural um, 1967 Chevy Impala. Um, I love Chevy Impalas, but yeah. So the patches on the arms, those ones we ended up, I put on my jacket when it cooled off, went in the mirror and we positioned it used a colored pencil to mark where I wanted like the tip to be at and then we went back pla um, placed everything back on and we did the sleeves because I wanted it one to be here one to be here and I wanted it to be equal so we ended up doing that it worked really really well I'm actually very pleased with the patches I had to turn off the radio for this, but I'm the car's parked. I'm okay. Um, it's fine. But this is the well, you can't see because of the light. But I have my jacket on that I've been wearing. But this was actually a little thought that I was thinking of. So since I dyed my hair about four weeks ago now, um, so this has faded. But the one thing that I was trying to do, I use Fructis Garnier um, shampoo and conditioner, and I didn't want to change it because I really liked it. But I realized because my hair gets really frizzy, it's Got, it got it got really dried out because of the bleaching the bleach process and the dye and I realized if I want because I miss my soft hair and I love the color but I want it to be soft so um people are staring at me um but I want it to be soft so I'm going to actually stop being stubborn I'm gonna get color protective um shampoo and conditioner and we're gonna use coconut oil or tree tree tea tree oil I can't talk today and we will see how that happens but that's just one thing I wanted to tell you guys um, just kind of a precaution if you get your hair dyed because it's going to happen if you bleach the living daylights out of your hair and like literally lift the color up to where you have like your original pigment is gone and you overlay it with like a blue or some vibrant color then you will have dry hair your hair will not be soft and fluffy as before if you have soft and fluffy hair so just a forewarning but I do love my hair and I was being so stubborn and thinking hey I can still use the same routine but my hair is different now so just thought I would give that um, a heads up and I love my jacket though it turned out really well um, but it's so like I'm in a parking spot that's like, really bright so but just thought I would say that Hi everyone, so it's night time, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, I went through the whole day, and my hair, it's not frizzy, but that's also because I didn't do like any heat to it. But literally just one day of using actually, actual like product that's supposed to be for after you dye your hair, shampoo, conditioner, color protectant, it really helped with my hair, and I'm actually really happy about it. So, it's just... Yeah. So, don't be stubborn like me. Everyone, okay, everyone's hair is different, especially since, yeah, um, I don't have curly hair. I have very straight hair. Um, 
but mo you do don't be stubborn and actually go get something for your hair that's specifically for your own hair or like something specific for color if you want to still use the same shampoo conditioner you can do that i just ended up switching because um <laughs> because i don't want frizzy hair and um it was a good choice back to my jacket sorry about that that turned into a little bit of a vlog in my last video as you know it was about me dyeing my hair so most of my followers for YouTube come from my Instagram which is actually in the about section of my channel so if you want to go check that out but they wanted an update with my hair so I just thought I would add that in there so this actually turned into more of a vlog of doing the pins and patches and then me a little hair update but now it's back to the jacket and I was just kind of showing it off one of the patches actually started falling off so I will end up going back and sewing the patches on but I really enjoy my jacket though okay it's 9 a.m. in the morning and I look like crap but anyway um, thank you for watching my video um, it turned into more of a vlog, didn't it? It went from talking about um, a tutorial for my jacket to an update on my hair, which people wanted to know anyway, um, what happened with my hair. So, anyway, and, um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with my channel. So, if you, if you have any ideas, or if you have a short series that you want me to do, um, that would be amazing. Just link, um, just post your ideas in the comments or um, my link for my Instagram is in my channel so you can go there and I, I a lot of people who are watching my YouTube videos come from Instagram so um, anyway thank you for watching and um, click the like and subscribe button if you want to and turn on the bell so you can keep updated with whatever I'm doing so thank you